Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a collective love reading. This is going to be a general reading. So it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Laws can get reversed, so take how it resonates. going to take that page of pentacles wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck mm, this could be someone new with the page of pentacles someone new who wants to start with friendship they want to be friends first this could be like uh, I'm getting the energy of this was long time coming. I don't know why I got that, but that's that's the exact words I got. Long term coming. For some of you, have been trying to manifest this kind of a love. You've been trying to manifest a new offer, a new love for a while, and you you felt very stuck. You felt like you couldn't do it or it's not happening. For some of you, you felt very frustrated as well. Like you, uh, like you were stuck in the old person. Not nothing new was happening here. So for some of you, this is a new person you're dealing with. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Ten of Swords, the Chariot, Wheel of Fortune again. Okay, what are the deck is Page of Pentacles again. So Wheel of Fortune repeated twice, Page of Pentacles repeated twice. For some of you, this very well could be an old person since we do have the Ten of Swords as well. I didn't get the old person vibe from the Page of Pentacles. Didn't seem like a past person, but with the Ten of Swords, you very well could be a past person, someone with whom things have ended here. Or this very well could be like you have been trying to you have gone through a major separation, you have gone through a major ending, you have been betrayed, you have been hurt, you have been played for a fool in the name of love. A lot of things have happened and you just want to get out of that energy and you want something new. You want to manifest something new. You wanted the wheel to turn your, in your favor. You wanted something that was going to happen in your favor because you might have felt that the universe is working against you. The universe is just only keeps giving you lessons, lessons, and then some more lessons. Everybody who comes into your life is a lesson. That's all. I'm not saying this person is not going to be a lesson, but this is someone who is like, it was long time, time coming. For some of you, you have been manifesting this person for a while, or this is someone that like you have been wanting to meet a person like this for a while, or you have, you have been wanting to deal with a person like that for a while. Like you wanted something new. And that new is coming. That different is coming here with the Wheel of Fortune repeated twice. This, is, this will seem like a very destined or fated connection. Again, I'm not saying this might not be a lesson. A lot of times when you're into in a spiritual path, when you are, um, you know, like when you're, when you're evolving or when you are following a spiritual path here, a lot of times those lessons seems never ending and no matter who you meet, it's like something you have to learn from there and you have to evolve from there. But yeah, this is some, something that is going to be very, very fated with the chariot and the wheel of fortune. Could be a cancer here. Now for the others of you, if this is someone who has, you had, you, like you went through a painful breakup, separation, ending with this person here. This is someone who's hoping that this can be, that they can reconnect with you. You know, like uh, the wheel can finally change and some other outcome can come out of this connection or situation. The past person 
you're dealing with a past person the past person might want to change things between the both of you and they want a different outcome here all right okay let's see what else comes out Seven of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Oh, this is the Eight of Wands that came out. Yeah, someone is coming in pretty fast here. Hmm. For some of you, if this is the past person, regarding the past person, that is what I'm getting here, is... person the past person they want to be they want you to have an open mind towards them is what i'm getting the past person wants you to have an open mind towards them like this past person knows that you're going to be very vigilant you're going to be very cautious when you deal with them but they want you to have an open mind here because this person for some of you they might feel like you don't see them as a source of your happiness anymore you don't see them as someone who will make you really really happy or who you don't see them in the same light you see them in a different light you don't see them in the same light that you used to be so at one point if you thought that this was someone who's bringing a lot of happiness this is someone who's making me happy you don't see them in the same light anymore but the past person wants you to be open it's like they're hoping that you're going to be open at least Pentacles, the Devil, the King of Cups, Five of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Oh, no wonder you are not open to this person, this past person here. You think that the past person might be, there's a lot of toxicity here. Could have been breadcrumbing here. This person could have breadcrumbed you. That's why you don't see them as a source of your happiness anymore because you feel like whatever was done here was unjust, was not fair. However, this first past person treated you, they were not fair to you. For the Ten of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, for some of you, this person, they, they were giving to two situations or they were breadcrumbing you, they were giving to you and then they were giving to another person here. That's the reason why things didn't work out between the both of you and you feel like this is a very, very toxic situation here. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to let go of the past. You're trying to really, really let go of this past connection. For some of you, this past connection was very, very intense. And from time to time, you still feel this energy of this person. You still feel this connection. But at the same time, you want to let go of that because you're just tired of dealing with toxic people. You're just tired of that. You're just tired of dealing with unhealthy connections, codependent connections. And you want to move past that here. Could 
be dealing with a Capricorn if I didn't already mention that. This new person that's coming your way could very well be a uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Those are just kids playing in the background. Okay, this is also what I'm getting. The past person thinks you're not going to be happy to see them. Or you're not going to be happy to hear from them. It's that energy of you are going to be, oh, not again, not you, not again. This is how the past person feels. I'm not saying that that's how you're going to react or respond. But this is how this person feels like you are going to feel if they try to talk to you, if they try to communicate to you. Like, why are you back? I don't want you back. I want someone new. Go away. That's the kind of energy you're going to be in. Like, you're at least going to think about this person like, oh, why, why do you have to be back? Do I have to learn more lessons here? Is this a connection that I will have to deal with more? Is this not yet over? Are the lessons going to keep continuing in this connection? Or finally, can I move forward and have something new, something fresh, something good here? Something that is going to be good and something that is destined to be in my life. Not something that is destined to teach me more lessons here. So I was trying to look more about this new person who is whoever is coming your way. Jeez. Yeah, the world, the world is here. So you very well could be completing a past cycle, letting go of a past pattern for some of you. For some of you are actually letting go of a past pattern and that is why you're manifesting this new person here. Whatever the past, whoever the in the past you were dealing with or whatever past patterns you were dealing with, you are uh, sort of like closing the chapters on that. You have learned your lesson. You have finally learned your lesson here. No wonder you're going to be in that energy. For some of you, really are going to be energy. If this person tries coming back, you really are going to be in that energy of have. Do I still need to learn more here? Isn't it over? Do I still need to learn more lessons? When is this going to be over? That's the kind of energy you might be in. But look at that bottom of the deck. We have Ace of Wands. I'm, I was not going to take off this uh, two of cups. Sorry, take this two of cups card here. It just blew, and, and I'm not taking cards that way. But yeah, we do have the star of the two of cups. For some of you, this new person, it's going to be a very, very healing connection, and it's going to open a lot of possibilities for you. It's like this new connection, this new person will restore your hope when it comes to love, when it comes to soulmate, when it comes to the universe. That's what this new connection is going to do. Because for some of you, you have really, really like question the universe and question and be like, um, is this why I'm here? Because I will just keep learning more and more lessons. Is this going to be never ending? Maybe that's all I have to do here. What's the point of it? That's the kind of energy I'm getting. Someone who has been feeling very, very hopeless here. Hopeless when it comes to love, when it hopeless when it comes to the universe, like is the universe even listening? Is God is God even listening? Or whatever you believe in, whatever force you believe in, whatever energy you believe in. Is it even listening? Does it care? Does he or she care? That's the kind of energy here. But is this this connection will sort of restore your faith <laughs> uh, and hope here. That, that's what this connection is supposed to do. And this is going to be a very equal give and take kind of a connection. It's going to be healing. It's going to leave a very positive um, impact on your life. That's the kind of connection this is going to be. This is, it came out, let's just keep the two of cups. Because this is a good energy.
Knight of Cups. Oh, okay. Five of Wands in reverse, which is a good energy. And the Three of Wands. The Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are going to be really defensive about this new person here. You know, there might be a lot of fights between the both of you, whoever this new person, there might be a lot of fights between the both of you. Because for some of you, when you meet this person, you will be in this mindset of, oh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a new lesson I have to learn. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to le learn something here. So even though there might not be a lesson there, you will try to look for lessons in that connection. Because you have been used to looking for lessons when it comes to connections here. So you will try to look for lesson here. Like what is the lesson I'm supposed to learn? Show me. Universe, show me. What is the lesson I'm supposed to learn here? That's the kind of energy for some of you are going to be in. Five of Wands in reverse. This is not the kind of person who will come from their ego. Although what I'm getting here is your ego might be triggered here because of this person and this connection. Because you will feel like you just know that the relationships connections teach you something or you are what is also going to be for some of you are also going to be in, in this energy of how come i am meeting such a good person what what's happening this doesn't happen to me there must be something i'm missing out here that's the kind of energy this might be a very specific reading i'm tapping into whoever i'm tapping into but that's the energy it's like you will be waiting like okay i i feel like there's a lesson here it feels like something's off so you will try to you know like there are times when there are no red not no red flags but there are not really any red flags but you will just try to be like no no this is a red flag i'm pretty sure i'm uh, I, i'm not seeing this. this this is i definitely think this might be a red flag here that's the kind of energy i'm picking up someone who will doubt this connection a lot someone who will doubt this person's intentions a lot as well here But yeah, this is going to be a very romantic kind of a person, Knight of Cups. This person will really try to sweep you off your feet. But you are going to not be swept off your feet by this person. At least not easily. Or at least you will try to not be swept off by this person. You're going to be very, very adamant here for some of you. And this is also what I'm getting. This might be a lesson as to can you trust the universe? Can you trust something good will happen? Because a lot of times that becomes an unhealthy mindset of thinking pessimistically, of thinking negatively, of thinking negatively of people, of thinking negatively of connections. Being so careful, be, being so cautious and so vigilant that you're going to push everyone away. That your guards are going to be so up. For some of you, this is also what I'm getting. For some of you, you, you might be just, you know, in that energy of maybe... Like you have decided that you don't want to look for love. Maybe you should just be alone. That way at least you will not learn more lessons in the name of love. That's the kind of energy. So this is going to be a sort of test where the universe is going to test you. Like can you trust love? Can you? Can you trust your intuition? Can you trust love? I'm going to send you something, someone good here. Can you trust that? I'm sending someone good. I'm sending, I'm giving you something you have wanted always. But can you believe in this anymore? Can you trust this anymore? Also, this is this is just a funny thing I'm getting. It's literally like a lot is happening in the picture, yet someone from the past, that past person, is like still peeping and trying to. This past person could be stalking you. Uh, this past person is peeping and trying to see into your life and trying to see what's going on with you. So a ling, a past is still lingering somewhere here, but new is trying to come come in here. I don't think you're really open to the past here. You you're not that you are not that open. At least the energy I'm picking up, you're not that open here. But if you are, then this might not be your reading. But yeah, the you are in that energy of <laughs> for some of you, you want new, but you don't believe you are going to. You, that can happen. That that is the energy here. Also, I'm picking up. So this very well could be a test from the universe. So at one point, if you were the kind of person who was hopeless romantic and wanted a very romantic partnership, romantic connection, then this is going to be that person who will be that kind of a person, who will be someone who will really romanticize this connection and want to romance you. 
but you have learned so many lessons here you have gone through so much and you have become so hard for some of you and you have lost hope but you might not trust this or you might feel like oh this is just an illusion that up it's going to be a struggle oh, the knight of wands in reverse i'm mm -hmm. going to take that Swords and the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, let me clarify that. Six of wands, four of swords. Of wands in reverse. We have the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Well, the past person definitely wants your attention. It's like they have been dreaming about you for a while. They have been dreaming about you, they have been thinking about you, so they, they want your attention here. But <laughs> The two of wands in reverse, this person doesn't really have that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? My gosh, I don't know why I forgot that word. They will doubt, right? This past person, uh, they doubt you're going to give them a chance. You know, they doubt this, the, you're going to listen to them. It's like this past, past person feels like even if I talk and tell everything, even if I am honest with collective, I doubt collective will give me another chance here. And here's also the thing, the past person, you know, they might want to talk to you, but they don't, they're not giving this a serious thought here. They're not really serious. And the reason they are not serious is because they doubt whether you're going to give them another chance. So why should they be serious? It's like they are not 100% sure that you're going to give them another chance. So why should they just try to come towards you? Why should they try to approach you? That's the energy of this past person here. They're doubting like uh, even though even if the past person sees dreams about you they're in that energy of I, I might be just missing collective that that's why I'm seeing the dreams um, maybe it's just that I need to focus on something else and then it's going to be fine that's the kind of energy with this past person it's a very casual kind of energy it's not a very serious energy let me shift and the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. We have the five of wands reverse here and then we have the five of wands upright here. The, 
the the, the new person will uh, this is what they this is how they will feel or see you you are a tough cookie <laughs> that's what i heard so it's, it's like that energy of um, the new person will think that it's going to be like tough to it's going to be difficult for them to make them believe in them they will find it very very difficult for you for, to gain your trust or to make you believe in them two of cups at the bottom of the deck again oh and the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck and the ace of cups judgment okay could be dealing with scorpio gemini virgo some of you, you could have been put in a, a third party situation in the past this person will understand you know this person will know this new person they will know or understand that you are either going to like this a new person will think that you are either going through a transformation i'm not going to say that this new person will think that you're going through a spiritual awakening a lot of times people are not aware of these terms if they are not exactly in the spiritual community they are not aware of these terms so it's fine it's, it's okay but yeah that's the thing this person might not be uh, aware that you are going through spiritual transformation or spiritual awakening you could be going through that for some of you this person again the judgment is like looking for the lesson this person will not understand why you are so defensive towards them or why you're arguing with them or why you're not trusting them why you're not believing them this person will not understand that what this person will although understand is like you have been hurt in the past you for some of you could have been put in a third party situation in the past so this person will understand that you have a wounded heart whatever like you have been in unfair situations unfair connections you your heart has been wounded and that is why you are defensive this person will understand why you're defensive they might not exactly think that you are trying to just look for the lesson and that's why you're trying to not for some of you you might not want to be even serious with this person initially because you are again in that energy of looking for the lesson like on the judgment like there has to be a lesson here But yeah, with the Ace of Cups in the Judgment, for some of you, the reason this person is going to be put in your life is because, again, faith will be restored here. Look at that, the positive cards. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. I'm the Magician here. This person is manifesting you and they will manifest a relationship with you. This person will end up manifesting that. Even if you are, no matter how defensive you are when it comes to this person, this person will still end up manifesting this uh, commitment, this relationship, this uh, ten of cups kind of, um, look at that, how happy they both are. This, this person will manifest this. It's like they will make your heart feel alive again they will make you feel alive again they will make your heart feel alive again so for some of you might have felt like you are all dried up when it comes to your emotions you will not for some of you you might have felt like you are not going to feel the same way again for someone forever like i'm not going to feel the same way i don't think i'll fall in love again that's the kind of energy but you will and it's going to be very surprising for you as well like you can feel this way for a person again the energy I'm picking up here. disappointed you the past who has disappointed you who has really broken your heart they themselves are feeling very disappointed they themselves are feeling very sad and they're feeling like this has become a missed opportunity 
and this person feels like you are the only one who could make them feel a certain way you are the only one who could make them feel happy here like you were some sort of wish fulfillment this is how this person will think with the five of cups here this person is the past person is brooding over the past a lot okay i want to see what else is here ten of wands okay oh four of swords in reverse i think at one point we did see the yeah the four of swords is up right here four of swords in reverse this is someone if there's silence between the both of you they want to break the silence they want to communicate to you they want to talk to you uh, there has been too much uh, separation between the both of you there has been too much time that has gone they want to bridge this gap between the both of you here but because we do have the ten of uh, not ten of cups sorry ten of wands here this person is uh, really really in a negative tone right now that's the reason this person is not taking any action because they are in a very negative mindset and they, they feel this very very uh, pressurized they feel very pressurized whenever they think about approaching you coming towards you talking to you they feel overwhelmed they feel pressurized they feel like their mind is going to explode or their heart is going to explode here because they can't think straight it's like someone who's getting sweaty palms and they're uh, they are becoming a nervous mess that's the kind of energy with this past person here cups for some of you this is a past life connection here this person will be very attracted to you they will want to pursue you but see the queen of wands all by itself might not be the exactly trustworthy kind of energy but since we do have the ace of pentacles and the eight of pentacles here it's balancing out the queen of wands and this is the energy of someone who will want to move forward here they will be very very attracted to you extremely attracted to you it's like then uh, sort of like that instant attraction will happen here but at the same time, with the Ace of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, again, Ace of Pentacles is cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles, right? It's a long term here. We already had the Seven of Pentacles in this person's energy. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. This person will feel a very, very strong bond with you, with the Six of Cups. They will feel a connection. It's like you will, when you both meet, you might feel that, oh, I, I have known you before. I'm getting a particular song, but it's not, it's in my language, so... Uh, but yeah, the song is basically like, I've met you earlier. I feel like I've met you earlier. This is not the first time we're meeting. But yeah, that's the kind of energy here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's going to be an instant recognition. I think, yeah, there's going to be an instant recognition between the both of you and this new person. They will definitely want long term here. They will be willing to. This person will be also someone who is the kind of person who puts an effort in a relationship or connection. So whatever they'll say, they follow it through. Uh, this is not the kind of person who will say something and then will not follow it through. This is the kind of person who will follow it through. Uh, also, what I'm getting here, the term I got is generous. This is going to be a generous kind of a person as well. Also, very hard working with the eight of pentacles. Yeah, they're going to be a generous person with the six of, I don't know if you can see that. That's the six of pentacles. disappointments yes you have been disappointed in the past yes it's true no one is telling you to just oh just ignore that no the past happened for a reason you were supposed to learn some hard lessons you were supposed to evolve but that doesn't mean the past is going to the past disappointments is going to repeat keep repeating over and over again that doesn't mean you become pessimistic when it comes to love and you become pessimistic when it comes to meeting new uh, person or you become pessimistic that the universe will ever bring towards you someone who's actually good for you no 
Look at that. You're manifesting commitment here. Remember how I said that this I'm this might be still a lesson. This might not be a commitment. I'm not saying it, but since we do have the Ten of Pentacles, this is a commitment you are manifesting. Let go of the past. You have to let go of the past. I know it's just said than done. I'm not lecturing here, but that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm saying. Let go of the past. You are not going to be disappointed again. You keep your hopes there. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. You will have this. Universe is bringing you this but you will have to see it you will have to be able to receive what the universe is trying to give to you you will have to be open enough to receive what the universe is trying to give to you all right get out of your head seven of cups in reverse well that's your reading collective i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in the next reading until then take care guys bye bye